अब आप 21 साल में अगर आप बिग फोर को ज्वाइन कर लोगे तो आपके पास कितना सारा करियर का टाइम है कितना सारा ग्रो करने के लिए एंड यू नो सो इट रियली इट इज ऑन द वन हैंड इट इज वेरी मोटिवेटिंग एंड डिमोटिवेटिंग टू फॉर असलिट मी टेल यू दैट No, I think it's very motivating because uh, 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 <laughs> like, the moment you start, start early. So, I have a lot of opportunities. And I think we have the full house now, so we can kick start. Uh, firstly, uh, good evening, guys. Good evening to you all, panelist members, and good evening to all the students, my friend. very 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 thankful to all of you for really joining us uh i would say you know to start with a very warm welcome to all of you and of course to our panelist uh, all i can say friends is that all of us including me have gone through this era this era of of i would say confusion this era of the opportunities and this era i would say which is where we are all hungry all hungry for the guidance and yes i'm talking of the age of class 12th my friend i'm talking of the age wherein we all are vulnerable to so many things that may and that can happen to all of us and we all have passed through that phase and the ladies and gentlemen that i have on the screens they have also gone through the same journey so it is all the more all the more important for us to really be there and be with them to hear out from them as to what they have done in this kind of an era i would say it is all the more important with this happening that all of us now to understand as to what should we do now and if you guys recall i came up with the specific video also on the same wherein we have discussed various options various other areas arenas wherein we can look upon and really look upon to one of the thing that i really spoke about there which i am i can i can surely tell you with all these three gents and ladies sitting sitting across to me i can tell you one thing that i'm really jealous of is that one option that was not there with me in my knowledge at that point in time when i was doing my class 12th was acca this is an option which can really makes you feel jealous i can tell you that and there are reason for it because when i was in class 12th मेरे जितने भी क्लास ट्वेल्थ के फ्रेंड्स थे वो बहुत सारे फ्रेंड्स मेडिकल या नॉन मेडिकल में थे और सारे तैयारी कर रहे थे अपनी इंजीनियरिंग की अपनी एमबीबीएस की एंड व्हाट नॉट पर मैं नटखट उस समय कुछ नहीं कर रहा था सिर्फ अपनी ट्वेल्थ की तैयारी कर रहा था और अपनी बीकॉम के बारे में सोच रहा था एंड यू नो हिस्ट्री इज हिस्ट्री नाउ इनफैक्ट यू नो वॉट वी डेड वॉट यू नो वॉज बेस्ट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम बट अब एक ऐसी अपॉर्चुनिटी और एक, एक ऐसी ऑप्शन है जो बच्चे क्लास 11, 12 से परस्यू कर सकते हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी रियली बॉट टुडे इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्कसिंग दैट दैट इज एसीसीए बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम जो मैंने वीडियो बनाया बहुत सारी ढेर सारी क्वेरीज आई इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो कि हमें और जानना है और समझना है इसके अंदर और क्या डिटेलिंग हमें जाननी जरूरी है बोथ फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ द गोल दैट वी रियली हैव इन द लाइफ विच इज लाइक स्कोप क्या होगा जॉब क्या होगी अपॉर्चुनिटीज क्या होंगी कहाँ पहुंचूंगा कैसे पहुंचूंगा एंड वॉट नॉट दैट फर्स्ट पीस ऑफ इट जो सबके दिमाग में आएगा एंड खास तौर पर पेरेंट्स को तो बहुत चिंता इससे रहती है दूसरी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो बच्चों ने बहुत बार पूछी वॉज कि सर ये मुश्किल तो नहीं है सर इसका कंपैरिजन अगर हम सी से करें तो क्या होगा बीकॉम से करें तो क्या होगा और प्रोफेशनल कोर्स से करें तो क्या होगा कितना टफ है मैं आप कर पाऊंगा नहीं पाऊंगा एंड वॉट नॉट तो दोनों लेवल एंड दोनों टाइप्स की क्वेरीज हमने देखी सो वी थॉट यू नो व्हाई नॉट टू थिंक अबाउट इट एंड व्हाई नॉट टू रियली ब्रिंग समथिंग रियल ऑन द कार्ड्स सो मुझे लगा यू नो लेट मी अप्रोच फ्यू फ्यू एस्टीम्ड फैमिलिस्ट व्हाट यू आर सीइंग राइट नाउ इन द इंडस्ट्री and i reached out to them saying that would it be possible for them to really take out time on the sunday hot evening what we have today and they were really happy to take out time for you for me for the fraternity at large because kahin na kahin unke andar bhi wo kahin na kahin chhota sa guilt hai jab wo 12th mein the to unhe bhi wo guidance ya wo वो हेल्प चाहिए था तो उनको भी लगता है कि नहीं नहीं अगर अब हम नहीं रहेंगे तो वो गिल्ट हमारे अंदर रह जाएगा व्हिच ऑल द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर देम आल्सो टू बी हियर एंड दैट इज द रीजन आई एम सीइंग यू नो माय गेस्ट्स ओवर हियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो दे बीइंग हियर एंड रियली 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 वेंटिंग आउट व्हाट दे रियली हैव टू से आई विल कम ऑन टू दैट यू नो टू देयर इंट्रोडक्शन बट ऑल आई कैन टेल यू इज देयर इज लॉट इन स्टोर टुडे इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो व्हाट द फ्यूचर कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन फॉर यू शुड बी एंड ऑल यू नीड इज जस्ट जस्ट बी हियर and you know stick on to your seats man you are not going anywhere because there is lot to come there is lot to be said lot to be understood 
to talk on this hot topic and the fever of the season if i may say that and you know i would say um, the kind of issues we all are really uh, going through at the, you know at this point in time i have my eminent panelists with me and you know i would i would you know i'd start off with welcoming them and really joining them i would introduce them first to you and then we'll kick start in terms of you know what we really have i have with me today firstly disha chohan ma'am disha chohan and <laughs> she she is an acca member a mentor i can tell you she is she she has been a mentor to me too at at various various instances in terms of you know guiding me as to what is really happening in the acca course curriculum she has been the faculty for acca also in terms of really guiding students across the globe in terms of you know what they should be thinking about and what they should be thinking a passionate performer you know professional i would say and a teaching intellect i i couldn't agree more she is really a teaching intellect in terms of you know thinking through as to what the student should be doing and should be thinking through on the experience side you know i would say she has been a distinguished you know uh, i would say member of of various big fours and i would you know idly ask her to really sp- explain more on that because she has worked with various big fours in terms of you know gaining that kind of an experience as acca and of course uh it was all the more a reason for us to really you know request her to be here to be with you to be with me and to be with us all welcome disha welcome on board thank you pankaj for the lovely introduction glad to be here so i am an acc everyone and i have experience of almost more than 4 years working with the big folks i have worked with uh, first uh, kpmg where in i work in the external audit department and then uh, i was working with uh, ernst and young in the financial accounting department and currently i am an acca member and also i am in the teaching profession where in i am teaching acca students and guiding them to you know help them with completing acca excellent thanks disha for that moving on we have an industry specialist my friend we have miss harshita vidas who is also an acca member and avid avid speaker i can tell you that and you should you should seriously see her uh, you know speaking skills you know, on 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 various social media platforms and off late i really i relished her yoga session also let me tell you that and a real i would say real real acca mentor um, and i say that i'll i'll come on to that she's currently working with ui and of course you know in the assurance segment where and most of the acca generally join up to her role involves again contributing to assurance on the one side of it and of course to the other side of it she has been working strongly very strongly as the acca mentor she is very close to the acca fraternity i can tell you that if you go to linkedin you go to facebook you'll you'll realize it yourself and of course um she is really spending her personal time at times i feel with the acc students in terms of really mentoring and guiding them which is i would say kudos to you harshita for that and that really makes me all the more all the more inclined to really call you and really bring bring you here and you know to talk to the upcoming budding accas and budding professionals of the industry and i would wish you very warm welcome harshita and really thanks for joining us thank you so much dad who was a really warm welcome and uh, yes i am an accca member from past 2 years now and uh, i have uh, experience in ey as an audit associate i joined as an audit associate now i am a senior and it's been about 5 years with ey so uh, yes i'm working um, with the short in segment more and uh, yes i'm an uh, acc advocate and an accca mentor and yes I- and it's a pleasure to be here i would really love to help pleasure is all ours let me tell you that and <laughs> pleasure is all of the fraternity uh, my friend because they really need guidance and all i and I, i keep saying that all that we can do as professional is to give back students the journey what we have really gone through and really gone by because the learnings that we have had in that if we can share that at least the mistakes that we did students will not do that so kudos to you and thanks for joining in I'll quickly move on to the last but not the least. All I can tell you is, you know, we have Mr. Vishnu Vijay with us. Vishnu Vijay uh, is a qualified ACC again, and I have two reasons for for him being here. And we'll we'll quickly get on to it. I can tell you one of the he is one of the youngest ACCs uh, you would see, and you know, one of the youngest ACC faculty, one of the youngest ACC mentor you would see on the street, and one of the most most passionate teachers. 
you know, he's so passionate. I can tell you, he's so passionate that I've started copying him on various instances in terms of, you know, the passion that he shows uh, in terms of, you know, going across to kids and going across to them in terms of, you know, what he really wants them to understand and the way he wants them to understand, which is, which is awesome. Uh, I would say from the professional experience standpoint, he's also part of Big Four. He's working with EY. He's working as the, the assurance guy in terms of, you know, managing various, various, you know, parts and pieces of what they really need to do on the assurance side of it. But if I really talk through on the, on the ACC student side of it, he has been there and he has been there in terms of help and support that various students across the globe have been needing on various ACC subjects. So he has been uh, a key, key critical, uh, I would say mentor in terms of really delivering them what they really need, especially at the time of clearing the exam, which, which is really, really awesome. And I'm, I'm, again, I, I'm not forgetting that I mentioned there are two reasons for it. One, of course, the reason is that, you know, I just mentioned what, what background he is from and, you know, what has he done and why he has done that. The second important piece why he's here is because, you know, he has gone through the same journey. The students who are listening to us, you are in class 12th or you have just crossed class 12th. And this gentleman started off his ACC journey right from class 12th. And that was the reason... I really requested him and, you know, this is the busy time for him in terms of, you know, the, the things that he really has on his plate. But I really requested him that, you know, can you please be here and really be the guide keeper and, you know, the goalkeeper or the, say, the, the guiding post for us to really help our, our kids really understand as to what they should be doing. And I'm glad that he agreed to it, especially on a Sunday evening where he may, may, may have a date, if not anything else. I thought, you know, it, it, it'll be awesome for you to be here. Thanks, Vishnu. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. That was quite an introduction. Thank you so much. And yes, I'm really glad to be here. Glad to help a lot of ACC students. And as you said earlier, I, I have been there and I have, it is a tough decision to you know choose the career path. So yeah, glad to help them. Thank, Thank you. you. And now to introduce myself, my name is Pankaj Chingra and I am a proud Fintrammer to start with. I'm a qualified chartered accountant and CPA from US. I have been part of FinTram and of course FinTram is an approved learning partners for ACCA in India and we have been helping students across the globe in terms of you know what they really need from the ACCA, ACCA standpoint. I have been working as a mentor and of course as a faculty also in many different uh, you know parts and pieces in terms of guiding students as to what they should be doing and hence I'm here my friend to really be there with you and of course be your mentor over here and your moderator over here in terms of you know really taking through the best out of the folks that i have on trade right now and of course taking the best out of uh, the best fun content from them in terms of you know sharing it with you as to what you really need now to start a proceeding and you know of course i have a, a smart and a crisp agenda to be followed i thought that the best way to really jump on and really talk through uh, in this webinar would be at least to give you a you know in nutshell as to what the acca is all about तो हम शुरुआत करेंगे एसीसीए को समझने से कि एसीसीए क्या होता है और बिल्कुल बिल्कुल लेमिनिश तरीके से करेंगे कोई 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 रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है आराम से समझेंगे इसको और फिर हम चलेंगे इसके स्कोप के ऊपर इसके जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज के ऊपर इसके टेन्योर के ऊपर इसकी जर्नी के ऊपर एंड वॉट नॉट बहुत सारी चीजें कवर करेंगे बहुत सारी चीजें आने वाली है अपनी सीट बिल्कुल नहीं छोड़नी है किसी ने चिपक के बैठो and of course you know please subscribe to our youtube channel if you want to see you know more videos like this more webinars like this because there is a lot coming in this month itself already sabse pehle hum shuruaat karte hain ki acca hai kya dekho bacche jab bhi hum class 11 12th mein commerce lete hain sabse pehli thought jo sabke mann mein hoti hai na and again maine bhi kabhi li thi 11th and 12th mein to आई नो शायद मेरे मन में भी वही विचार था या वही थॉट था सबसे पहला जो थॉट होता है ना हमारे मन में वही होता है कि uh, हमने ना किसी को देखा होता है अपनी लाइफ में किसी अपने सीनियर को किसी अपने रिलेटिव को किसी अपने पड़ोसी को एंड सोन एंड सो फोर्थ किसी ऐसे को देखा होता है जिसे देख के हमें लगता है कि नहीं नहीं ये करना है यहाँ पहुंचना है चाहे वो अब यू नो अब हमने रियल टाइम में देखा था आप बच्चे थोड़े एडवांस्ड हो गए हो आप यूट्यूब पर भी देख लेते हो आप यू नो सोशल मीडिया पर भी देख लेते हो हमारे टाइम पे शायद उतना कुछ नहीं था बट हम किसी ना किसी को देखते हैं और उसकी डायरेक्शन में हम चलना शुरू हो जाते हैं जैसे मैंने शुरू किया था क्योंकि मेरे सामने वाले घर में एक जनाब रहते थे जिन जो सीए थे और हमारे पूरे कॉलोनी में सबसे अच्छी सबसे अच्छा मकान उनका था 
तो सब बोलते थे यू नो सीए का मकान सबसे अच्छा होता है सीए तो यू नो सीए है एंड दिस एंड दैट एंड व्हाट नॉट तो पंकज जिंगरा को क्या था पंकज जिंगरा भी चल पड़ा उसी राह पे वो भी सीए करने चल पड़ा एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ ऐसे ही हम सब बच्चे करते हैं ऐसे ही हम सब बच्चे धीरे 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 मेच्योर होते हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है अब हम उस स्टेज पे हैं जब हमने डिसीजन लेना है कि हमने आगे क्या करना है अब आपके पास बहुत सारे रास्ते हैं कुछ रास्ते आपने सोच भी रखे होंगे बिकॉज आपने क्लास ट्वेल्थ में जब एग्जाम देने की तैयारी कर रहे होते हैं तो बच्चे काफी रिसर्च करना ऑलरेडी शुरू कर देते हैं कि मुझे क्या करना है चाहे वो सी हो चाहे वो सी हो चाहे वो सी हो चाहे वो एम हो चाहे वो बी हो एक्स वाई जी कॉलेज से हो चाहे वो कोई इंटरनेशनल कोर्स हो एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सब कुछ हम सोचते भी हैं और करने के लिए अग्रसर भी हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है बट हमें कुछ ऐसा करने की इच्छा सबको होती है जो हमें एक एज दे मार्केट में जो शायद मेरे लेफ्ट और राइट वाले के पास ना हो या मेरे फ्रंट और बैक वाले के पास ना हो उसी के लिए शायद वो अगर मुझे एज मिलेगी तो मुझे उतनी स्पीड से ही ग्रोथ मिलेगी और उतना ही जल्दी मैं आगे जाऊंगा बिल्कुल सही बात है बिल्कुल सही बात है अब वो एज के लिए क्या करना है वो एज के लिए हमें एक ऐसी अपॉर्चुनिटी दिखाई दी जो हमें लगा हम आपके साथ शेयर करते हैं बिकॉज हमें ऐसा लगता है ये अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत सारे बच्चे जिन्होंने इसको ऑप्ट किया है उन्हें वो एज भी मिली और वो ग्रोथ भी मिली और तीन शैतान बच्चे मेरे साथ आज यहाँ अवेलेबल हैं जो ये चीज अच्छे से शेयर करेंगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो वट देव डन एंड हाउ देव डन अब आते हैं हम वो चीज है क्या वो चीज है बच्चे ए अब हम जैसे चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी इंडिया में करते हैं हम सब सी पढ़ना चाहते हैं या करते हैं किसी ना किसी शेप एंड फॉर्मेट में जो भी करना चाहते हैं जैसे हम सी करते हैं ऐसे ही जैसे सी इंडिया में है ऐसे ही सी यूके में है मैं इसको थोड़ा लेमिनिस्ट टर्म से बता रहा हूँ थो, थोड़ी सी और चीजें भी ऐड करनी पड़ सकती है बट अगर हम बिल्कुल बिल्कुल रॉ सेंस में समझे तो जैसे सी इंडिया में होती है ऐसे सी ए में होती है फर्क सिर्फ ये है बच्चे की सी इंडिया की मेनली इंडिया में ही कंसिडर होती है इंडिया से बाहर कंसिडर नहीं होती बिकॉज आपको यहां जो वैल्यू मिलती है वो यही मिलती है और जो कि बहुत अच्छी वैल्यू है कहीं से खराब नहीं है एसीसी की एडवांटेज ये है कि एसीसी आपको मोर देन 180 कंट्रीज में रिकग्नाइज कर देता है बिकॉज एसीसी को रिकग्नाइज भी मोर देन हंड्रेड कंट्रीज करती है बिकॉज वो चाहते हैं कि वो मानते हैं ऐसा कि एसीसी का मतलब उनकी कंट्री का भी प्रोफेशनल अकाउंटेंट इसलिए इसे ग्लोबल प्रोफेशनल अकाउंटेंट भी बोला जाता है इन अदर वर्ड्स बहुत अच्छी बात है सर समझ में आ गया बट सर क्या इंडिया में इसकी वैल्यू है अभी आएंगे उसके ऊपर हमारे पास हमारे तीन या गेस्ट बैठे इसलिए आपको सब बताने के लिए तो उसके ऊपर भी आएंगे बट सबसे पहले इंपॉर्टेंट बात समझने की यह है जो हर बच्चे के दिमाग में सबसे पहला डाउट आता है वो ये आता है कि सर ये कोर्स तो यूके का है क्या मैं यहां बैठ के कर सकता हूं क्या सर मुझे यूके जाना पड़ेगा वीजा लेना पड़ेगा नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं ना वीजा लेना है ना टिकट कटानी है तो जाना तो कहीं है ही नहीं बैठना यही है सबसे पहले रजिस्ट्रेशन करानी है वो भी यही होगी उसके बाद पढ़ाई करनी है वो भी यही होगी पढ़ाई करने के बाद एग्जाम देना है एग्जाम भी यही होगा और एग्जाम सेंटर पे भी नहीं जाना पड़ता बच्चे एग्जाम अपने घर पर ही हो जाएगा क्योंकि एग्जाम फ्रॉम होम भी एस सी अवेलेबल है बहुत बड़ी एडवांटेज है इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो रियली परसिंग योर करियर इन दी एरा ऑफ यू नो वॉट वी आर इन राइट नॉट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम फॉर वट एवर रीजन फॉर वट एवर टाइम बट एक बहुत अच्छा रास्ता है एक प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन को गेन करने का तो ये तो हुई बच्चे ए सी सी ए क्या है एक रॉ टर्म्स में समझने की बात और ए सी सी ए कहा और कैसे किया जा सकता है बट बहुत सारे बच्चे सवाल हमसे करते हैं बहुत ही सारे बच्चे कि सर ए सी सी ए शुरू करने का सबसे सही टाइम क्या है जो कि हमें लगता है किसी भी कोर्स करने को और अगेन फोगेट अबाउट ए सी सी ए किसी भी कोर्स करने को चाहे वो सीओ बच्चे चाहे वो सीएमओ चाहे वो सीपीओ चाहे वो सी एस ओ कोई भी कोर्स हो बच्चे जितना जल्दी शुरू करोगे उतना अच्छा है तो कोई बात ही नहीं है ये तो बिल्कुल जेनरिक बात है ऐसे ही ए सी सी भी आप जितना जल्दी शुरू करोगे उतना अच्छी बात है फायदा यह है कि क्लास इलेवन ट्वेल्थ से ही शुरू हो जाता है इसीलिए अगर आप इसे जितना जल्दी शुरू करेंगे उतना जल्दी खत्म कर पाएंगे और विष्णु विजय जैसे आप क्लास ट्वेल्थ में अगर शुरू करते हैं तो बाय द एज ऑफ 19, 20 आप एसीसीए क्वालिफाइड भी हो जाते हैं और एलिजिबल फॉर वेरियस जॉब्स भी हो जाते हैं सर ये तो आपने ऐसी बात कह दी सर कि हो जाते हैं बट इससे तो रिलेटेड हमारे मन में बहुत सारे डाउट है ये कैसे होती है इसका स्कोप क्या है जॉब्स कैसे मिलती है कहाँ जाना होता है तो बहुत सारे डाउट्स हैं 
जितने भी सारे डाउट है ना बच्चे वो सब अब चैट बॉक्स में ना टाइप करने शुरू कर देना जो आने वाले 30 से 35 मिनट हैं उनमें मैं ये सारे डाउट कवर कर डालूंगा आपके चैट में लिखने से पहले पहले ही बट फिर भी अगर कोई डाउट रह जाएगा तो हम चैट से उठाएंगे और वो भी पूछेंगे अपने पैनलिस्ट से वो भी उनका आंसर लेंगे ठीक है आगे चले बिल्कुल सबसे पहले विष्णु मैं आपसे पूछूंगा बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस इज दिस इज रियली की फॉर देम टू टू रियली किक स्टार्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम यू दैट वॉट मेड यू decide on acc and when did you decide on acc you know you started off in class 12th and, and you know to an extent uh, after 12th if i may say that so what really made you uh, get on to this decision and you know why you made this decision yeah regarding that the first uh, and foremost objective that i had during the 12th grade was to become a chartered accountant and so <laughs> obviously i had like that one and only option that there was indian ca so i started researching on that matter about chartered accountancy what it is and what what's the opportunity and what's the job demand etc so by that time uh, i started recognize that the indian ca is just constrained to uh, like the within this country only so that's a point that i got to know throughout my uh, research but uh, what i wanted at the time was to become something you know something of global nature so something that can be recognized globally and you know b- become a global professional that's basically what i wanted at that time so i yet again started researching regarding uh, chartered accountancy bodies of other countries etc and that's when i got to know about acc and it just you know caught my interest instantly because uh, you know as you said this particular profession is recognized in like uh, more than 180 countries so yeah i just went for that and uh, yeah you made you wanted me to you know speak about my journey easy journey right so let's just get to that so yes as uh, pankaj said i have uh, completed my acca by the age of 19 and uh, i know that you're all curious as to know as to how i did that so let's just get to that uh so there are 13 papers in this particular uh, course and uh, we categorize them into three levels there's the knowledge level the skill level and the professional level in the knowledge dev- level there are like four papers and these four exams are like uh, on demand exams so what i had to do was i had an objective that i had to complete this course within like 3 uh, years 3 years was the average time that they you know uh, you know spoke about at the time of completing this course so i had that objective to complete this uh, within like 3 years so what i did was i planned my journey uh there are like 13 papers three levels and in the uh, first level that is knowledge level we have like three papers and then in the skill level we have five to six papers and in the professional level uh, we have like uh, we have to do like three uh, three more papers right so what i did was in the first six months this is this was my target in the uh, i joined after my 12th as you said and uh, it was the month of june so my target was to complete the first level that is a knowledge level within six months so i just planned it accordingly i just planned my sessions uh, my uh, tuitions my uh, practice sessions etc all within the six months so that i can complete that particular level within the six month period so yeah after i did that uh, did that i just moved on to the next level that is the skills level so the skills level i had to you know plan it uh, plan it really you know carefully because while i was enrolling there was a, a few other friends of mine and they were like uh, there were students who would uh, take up uh, two papers or students who prefer to take a single per- papers per session because in a year you get only like four sessions right so uh, you had to plan carefully so that you have to you know get to that target so what i did was uh, i planned it Uh, plan to complete the skill level papers within one year itself i had four sessions so i plan to you know first of all take one paper per session because you know it's a conservative approach right so i just uh, did that first of all and after that i started taking like two and three papers etc so by doing that i was able to complete the skill level by uh, one year and right after that 
I was eligible for a lot of jobs because once you complete the nine papers, you have you you were uh, you will be able to enter into a career, right? So that's that's a really great opportunity, I must say. Uh, so after completing nine papers, I was more focused in uh, on the studies, so I didn't you know prefer a job at the time, so I just continued my studies with the professional level. So. Yet again, four papers. I was, you know, trying to take it a bit easy because I just wanted to take like one paper set per session. So yeah, I completed that four papers in that final year as well. So I was able to complete all the papers, all 13 papers in like two and a half years. So it's all about uh, planning. And uh, that's a really important key factor there. If you plan well, then you can tackle uh, this particular course uh, effectively and efficiently. Now, uh, during this time, especially when I completed like nine papers, that yet again was, a, I would say, a milestone where you have to think as to whether you should uh, get a job or, uh, you know, focus more on your future plans like graduations, etc. So then yet again, I started to do a research because once you get to a milestone and to a decision point, you do a lot of research, right? So uh, I conducted a lot of research and uh, then I found out about the BSc qualification, BSc honors qualification provided uh, that can be done along with ACCA so that you will also be a graduate as well as a professionally qualified accountant. So that's yet again another uh, thing that I did after completing nine papers. I went for the BSc and did that along with the ACCA, ACCA professional level papers so that I can be both a graduate as well as global professional at the same time by the age of 19. So yeah, that was my Ho main aim. Hold on, hold on over here, Vishnu. I think you, yeah. you really raised a very important point. So what mm -hmm. you are saying is, mm -hmm. and you know, while I know that, but you know, yeah. it is good to understand in terms of how do you do it. What you're saying is that, you know, while you were doing ACCA, mm -hmm. You started off the BSc uh, from the Oxford Brookes University, London. Yeah. Exactly. Because ACCA has a tie-up with Oxford Brookes. So mm -hmm. if you do ACCA, you effectively mm -hmm. get the BSc from the Oxford Brookes. So you don't mm -hmm. have to do graduation in addition to ACCA if you're doing ACCA per se. Yes, exactly. Speaking more about the uh, BSc uh, degree. Well, this is basically the BSc Honours Degree in Applied Accounting. That's basically what the course's name is. And it's a blended degree that you can do along with ACCA. Now, a uh, few, few people might be a bit doubtful regarding that because uh, it's a graduation degree. So there might be a lot of exams. How do you cope up with that along with ACCA? Well, uh, the thing is, in this particular course, you don't have any exams. Because uh, the credits that is loaded to this particular uh, graduation program is uh, blended with the your ACCA's marks. And then what they do is they will require you to submit a research project, as simple as that. You just submit a project, and if you pass that, then you'll get that degree. And that, it's as, as simple as that. Awesome. And two questions. One, do you have to give any exam for this BSc degree or just the project and, and that's it? Uh, well, uh, there are three stages to that particular program. First of all, you have to complete the ACCA papers up until the uh, FM paper or the skill level papers. Okay. Uh, that should be done. And after that, you have to complete the ethics and professional module of ACCA. Yes. And uh, then you have to just submit that project. So these are the three stages, the exams, the ethics module, and then the project. That's but there is, so that anyway, you would be doing for ACCA. Yeah, so there is exactly. nothing... Nothing more that you are required to do for BSc, right? No, there's nothing more to it. So effectively, it. if mm -hmm. a class 12 student is starting off with ACCA, exactly. So within mm -hmm. three and a half, while he completes the ACCA, mm -hmm. in a way, without giving any papers, he's also getting a graduate degree in that too from Oxford Brookes University, London. Yes. Oh, man. The okay. prestigious Oxford Brooks, yes. Okay. And uh, do you, okay, then that's something, you know, which every parent will ask and, you know, me being, you know, father of two, that really resonates in my mind. Yeah. Do you have to pay anything to Oxford Brooks University for giving us your, giving us this degree? Yes, there are additional fees to be paid there because, uh, yeah, there are basically two fees to be paid there. First of all, there is something called a mentoring fee. And this is paid to, well, when you're doing the research and analysis project, and that's what you call it, the RAP. So uh, when you're doing that, 
uh, you need to have a mentor in order to review the work that you've done and they'll give you certain feedbacks on how to do the project, et cetera. So you have to pay the mentor. So there would be the mentoring fees. And secondly, there's a project submission fees as well. So these two would be the additional payments that would be uh, there. And it would be around, well, that actually changes year by year. However, I would give you an approximate of uh, maybe 50,000 Indian rupees in total, because uh, yeah. the mentoring fees could be you know, a bit uh, different uh, according to the mentors. There are mentors who charge like 10,000 and uh, maybe even more, et cetera. And uh, the project submission fee, well, that's actually different uh, throughout every session. Uh, I believe that it's currently around 35,000 Indian rupees. So yeah, uh, uh, approximately that. So in total, approximately 50,000 rupees. Yeah, approximately 50,000 rupees. Okay, so effectively, if, if I st after, st after 12th, if I start and I mm. complete ACC in three, three and a half years, then mm. you know, effectively, I don't need any graduation. I can you know get graduation with... Oxford mm -hmm. University London by just paying rupees 50,000, 60,000 more and I'll get it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, awesome. And just one, and, one, yeah. one more thing. I'm sorry for, you know, I am really very curious, mm -hmm. man, because this is yeah. something which everybody should know. But mm -hmm. one more thing, like BSc mm -hmm. in Applied Accounting, does this really, uh, mm -hmm. is this really accepted? Is it like, uh, do you have a value for this? You know, if, if I may ask that, I, I don't know. So that's why I'm mm -hmm. asking. Okay, yeah, it, this particular degree has a great deal of value, especially in the UK. And every graduation is considered in like most countries, but there are certain countries where, you know, this particular certain uh, degrees won't be that valuable. Because if you, let's say, take a, let's say, BCom in India, uh, there are certain countries where this particular, you know, degree does not have a value because uh, it's specific to that particular country, right? You took a BCom, BCom in like India. So uh, when you go to, let's say, uh, certain GCC countries or certain other countries, there may not be certain values there. However, uh, uh, I, hope, when I, hope, I hope you're not targeting me for this. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, and uh, yeah, when we talk about the BSc, uh, well, the main purpose, especially for a graduation in India is basically so that, you know, uh, when you're growing abroad, then there would be certain visa complications, etc. So they definitely need the a graduation degree for that. So for that purpose, this particular degree is useful for that. For that. And if I if I have to ask you this, that you know you did your ACCA, you got the uh, BSc uh, from Oxford Brooks, but mm -hmm. after that, did you like did uh, BCom in India or you didn't? You know, not required. Well, I do have a big home qualification. I'll tell you how, because when I enrolled with ACCA, uh, they had like a, you know, blended program because I had to take, I had to do like ACCA <laughs> plus the uh, BCom of a certain university. Oh. So uh, okay. yeah, I had to take like BCom along with that because I can't just leave it halfway and go, go okay. ahead. Right. So yeah, Fair that's enough. basically why I did. But effectively, if, if even if mm -hmm. you're not having that blended course and yeah. you're doing it on standalone basis, mm -hmm. you will anyway get BSc. So your graduation need is anyway being taken care of. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. and that was a, that was quite an eye opener for me too. Let me tell you that mm -hmm. I didn't know I I didn't know that much detail about Oxford Brooks University in terms of you know how does this happen. So so mm -hmm. thanks thanks that you know for that Vishnu. It was it was really mm -hmm. great. Now I I have a question for. Um, for you, Disha, and this is again, you know, I'm, I'm trying to roll the dice and then find out, you know, in terms of, you know, what should I be asking next? But one thing that really cripples from the discussion that that I had with Vishnu was that twelfth ke baad ACC shuru kiya, or patafat se ACC ke thirteen exams khatam kiye, or saath mein, you know, Oxford Brooks se mujhe BSc bhi mil rahi hai. But agar main aapse Disha is baare mein puchu ki jo 12th pass out bachche hain unhe unhe initially exam kya dene hote hain you know we you know and wo structure kya rehta hai kya exam unhe dene hote hain kaise correlate kare wo agar aap us pe thoda sa you know if you can help them out it will be really sure. great sure so waise to uh, there are three levels uh, in ACCA the knowledge skills and professional but uh, right after 12th they have to just worry about the first level which will be the knowledge level wherein there are three papers in total. The first one being business and technology. Now, this is pretty simple. 
for the, the people who have done 11th and 12th uh, commerce for them it's very easy because they would have already studied you know business studies and economics and business and technology is just all about that uh, all the concepts of management and you know economics our demand supply and some of course technological developments they learn another subject is management accounting again accounting so they would have definitely studied in 11th and 12th and this is again you know learning about various management techniques on how to improve business performance process costing performance measurement and all of that and the final subject in the knowledge level would be your financial accounting and accounting so it's the bread and butter of an accountant so again 11th and 12th accounting jinhone bhi li hai for them it will be pretty easy because you know the double entry system uh, recording of transactions preparing trial balance basic financial statements all this will be covered so any commerce student who has taken up commerce in 11th and 12th for them it is going to be fairly easy and all these papers are uh, on demand based papers so aap kabhi bhi you know during the year whenever you are prepared for it you can just apply online and just give the exam you don't have to wait for any session and you can just give whenever you feel like so there is also flexibility yes and think very important point एसीसी में दो तरह के एग्जाम होते हैं एक ऑन डिमांड एग्जाम होते हैं एक सेशन बेस्ड एग्जाम होते हैं ऑन डिमांड एग्जाम पहले चार एग्जाम होते हैं जो आप कभी भी जब आपके तैयारी आप तभी जाके दे सकते हैं सेशन बेस्ड एग्जाम साल में चार बार होते हैं मार्च में जून में सितंबर में डिसम्बर में जनरली फर्स्ट टू सेकेंड वीक में हो जाते हैं एग्जाम आप इन्हें बुक करेंगे और एग्जाम देंगे बट एक चीज जो दिशा बहुत अपनी आपने अच्छी मैंशन करी वो कि यहाँ आप एक एक करके भी एग्जाम दे सकते हैं विच इज the biggest convenience right yeah, absolutely so there is a lot of flexibility so it's not like you have to give in a group ya yeah, three papers saath mein or two papers saath mein it's up to you when you are comfortable when you have prepared for a subject you can give one at a time at your ease as such koi aapko you know wo nahi hai ki aapko sare clear karne hai aap tabhi next level mein move karoge so it's very flexible in those terms very right because That really gives you a feeler, na, ki ek ki tiyari kari, ek ka exam diya, dusre ki tiyari kari, dusre ka exam kia, and you know, what not. So exactly, it, that really pressure and tension is reduced because, वैसे क्योंकि twelfth के बाद आप twelfth, eleventh, twelfth में हो, आप obviously professional level को exam दे रहे हो, तो बच्चों में बहुत tension होती है कि भाई कैसे हम, you know, सीधा हम professional level कर रहे हैं. So at this level, it's like it becomes so easy कि आप अपने हिसाब से कर सकते हो. If you are, if you think you can manage, go ahead. आप और दे दो. लेकिन At the time, आप आराम से एक-एक करके दे सकते हो at your own ease. I agree. And this is ये तो वही knowledge level की बात. अब मैं आगे अगर चलूँ तो skill level में क्या होता है और फिर professional level में क्या होता है थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में बताओ. Because थोड़ा सा बच्चे जानना चाहेंगे कि कि overall journey कैसी दिखने वाली है. और एक सवाल जो मुझे लगता है, you know, I'll open up for the group to answer and you know, anybody can answer is जो बहुत बार सवाल आता है कि कितने time में ACC हो जाती है? मैं कितना टाइम मान के चलू कि मैं एसी से कर जाऊंगा मैं एक एवरेज बच्चा हूं मैं बहुत इंटेलिजेंट नहीं हूं मेरे कभी भी बहुत स्काई रॉकेटिंग नंबर नहीं आया क्लास इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में अब मैं एसी से करना चाहता हूं तो मैं कब तक कर जाऊंगा कुछ कुछ अंदाजा बताइए प्लीज so uh, if you're starting right after 12th i would say up to around 3 years lagenge and you can easily complete after 3 year, in 3 years because even i was i will never say i was a very bright student or anything like that but with hard work definitely you can achieve anything aapko mehnat bahut karni padegi you will have to put in a lot of time and effort but it is not impossible you can easily do that so the next level would be your skill level isme aapke six papers hain जिसमें से एक अगेन आपका ऑन डिमांड पेपर होगा एंड बाकी लाइक सर यू मेंशन आपके सेशन बेस्ड होंगे आप जब चाहे मार्च सेशन हो गया दिसंबर सेशन हो गया आप उसमें आप अपेयर करके दे सकते हैं अगेन मोरली इट्स अकाउंटिंग आपके परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट हो गया फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट थोड़ा फाइनेंस की टेक्निक्स होती है ऑडिट के बारे में हम सीखते हैं टैक्स के बारे में सीखते हैं एंड इस सब चीजें सीखना सो इससे आई वुड से यू नो आपकी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज भी बढ़ती है बिकॉज आफ्टर कम्पलीटिंग एसीसी इट्स नॉट दैट यू कैन ओनली वर्क इन ऑडिट और ओनली अकाउंटिंग यू नो देस टैक्स दिस रिस्क एंड कम्प्लाइंस देर सो मेनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट यू नो द डोज आर ओपन एंड इन प्रोफेशनल लेवल अगेन यू विल हैव टू गिव फोर पेपर्स एंड यहाँ पे आपको चूज करने को भी मिलता है लाइक like, अगर मुझे फॉर एग्जाम्पल टैक्स में स्पेशलाइजेशन करना है आई वुड गो हेड एंड चूज टैक्स लाइक आई वॉन्टेड टू डू स्पेशलाइजेशन इन ऑडिट सो आई वेंट अड एंड डिड ऑडिट एंड देन आई वर्क इन ऑडिट डिपार्टमेंट 
तो आपके ऊपर होता है आप जो जिस चीज में स्पेशलाइजेशन करना चाहते हैं आप वो पेपर दे सकते हैं एंड uh, उस हिसाब से लाइक टू आर कम्पल्सरी इन प्रोफेशन एंड टू के आपको चॉइसेस मिलती हैं एंड अगेन ये भी सेशन बेस्ड होता है इसके जो चार सेशन है आप उसमें आप कभी भी अप्लाई करके आप दे सकते हैं पेपर और दिशा अगर मैं uh, मैं थोड़ा सा को रिलेशन करना चाहूँ बिकॉज यू नो आई मोर यूज टू एंड अकस्टम्ड टू द इंडियन सेटिंग तो अगर मैं इसको कंपैरिजन uh, करना चाहूँ कि मेरे जो स्किल लेवल के पेपर हैं सब्जेक्ट्स तो मोर और लेस मेरे ग्रेजुएशन वाले हैं राइट या सो मोस्टली व्हेन व्हाट सो आई डिड माय एसीसी आफ्टर बीकॉम तो मैंने जो बीकॉम कर लिया था आई डिड बीकॉम इन अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस सो आई फाउंड इट प्रीटी सिंपल इट वाज नॉट लाइक सुपर डिफिकल्ट और एनीथिंग बिकॉज़ यू हैव फ्रॉम 11 स्टैंडर्ड यू आर स्टडीइंग बिजनेस स्टडीज अकाउंटिंग इकोनॉमिक्स so you know the basics very well and it's nothing else yahi wo sab hota hai of course aapko case study thoda isme format different hota hai no doubt in that but with right guidance and with mentors you can easily clear it mainly yahi subjects hai sare aapke accounting ke subject thoda financial management finance ki cheeze hongi but ye sab aap mostly aap apne graduation bhi agar aap kar rahe hain to usme bhi aapne cover kiya hoga and 11 12th mein bhi accounting mein jo basics jo hote hain wo aapke tabhi ban jate hain and uske baad you are just developing and learning new things so jo ifrs ho gaye वो सब आप ऑफ कोर्स एसीसी में सीखते हैं नया uh, जो हमारे सारे आई एफ आर एस इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं बट अगेन जिस इंसान ने अकाउंटिंग ली है की है उसके लिए इतना मुश्किल नहीं है बिकॉज उनके बेसिक अच्छे से डेवलप्ड हैं ऑलरेडी ट्रू एंड इफ आई इफ आई हैव टू आस्क यू दिशा सॉरी फॉर यू नो रियली ड्वेलिंग ऑन दैट बट बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट सवाल है जो बच्चे बार-बार पूछते हैं मेरे से कि कितना मुश्किल है बिकॉज uh, उन्हें बच्चों के मन में ये बहुत ख्याल होता है और पेरेंट्स के मन में तो बहुत ही ज्यादा होता है कि क्या हमारा बच्चा कर पाएगा कितना मुश्किल है यू नो एंड वी कीप सेइंग दैट दैट यू नो इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट अबाउट इंटेलिजेंस इट्स अबाउट द हार्ड वर्क एंड द कंसिस्टेंसी दैट एनी बडी एंड एवरीबडी हैज टू शो टू गेट टू द वर्ल्ड एंड गेट टू यू नो थिंग्स गोइंग बट यू नो इफ आई रियली हैव टू आस्क यू वेन यू डिड इट एंड हाउ डिड यू फेल्ट इट आपको कैसा लगा और यू नो हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट इट so honestly sir like i said i was never a great student and i never thought that i will ever do you know professional accountancy course but after graduation i thought you know might as well give it a try and honestly i will not say ki super easy ki aap bas denge register karenge aur aap clear kar jayenge nahi aapko bahut padhna hoga mehnat karni hogi but it is not impossible aisa nahi hai shayad aap kuch papers ek bar mein clear na kare do bar mein bhi clear na kare but the key is that you don't give up and aapko hard work to karna hi padta hai like everything for if you want to achieve anything good in life you have to work hard so it's as simple so even i would say i cleared all the papers in first attempt except for one paper and all because of hard work consistency and hard work are the keys it's not that i was super genius ki mere 11 12th mein bhi bahut amazing marks the ya fir main accounting genius hu aisa kuch nahi hai if you have your basics and अगर आप हार्ड वर्क करने को रेडी हैं तो इट इज नॉट इम्पॉसिबल वन टिप विच आई विल ऑलवेज से इज दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन व्हाट यू कैन कंट्रोल पेपर कैसा आएगा मैं पास होऊंगा नहीं होऊंगा ये सब हम कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते वी कैन ओनली कंट्रोल ऑन कि हम कितना पढ़ सकते हैं कितने अच्छे से पढ़ सकते हैं तो हमें सिर्फ उस पर अगर हम ध्यान दें देन आई वुड से इट्स नॉट एट ऑल डिफिकल्ट एंड यू कैन ईजली क्लियर इट देन Oh, bang on! I I completely echo your thoughts, and you know, while you say this, uh, you know, you have said it over here. I am totally with you on this. Control the controllables, my friend. Manage the manageables. You can't manage the entire world. You can't manage everything. What is in your control? Manage that, and sky will be the limit. With that, I am going to my industry veteran. I am going to my industry specialist. बिकॉज ये सवाल तो हर्षिता मैम हर बच्चे को हर पेरेंट्स को जानना है. कि चलो सर आपकी बात सुनी आपका इंटरव्यू देखा रिसर्च करी रिसर्च करके ए शुरू कर दी सर बच्चे को कराना शुरू कर दिया सर बट सर स्कोप है ए का कुछ होगा मेरे बच्चे का हम आगे जाएंगे कुछ मिलेगा मेरे बच्चे को कोई ग्रोथ मिलेगी थोड़ा सा मैम उस पर रोशनी डालो वो भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज हो जाती है बिकॉज कहीं भी करियर में जाना है और आपने मैंने हमारे बच्चों ने कहीं भी जाना है ये चीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि क्या हमें उससे वो आउटपुट मिलेगा जो हम चाहते हैं ओके सो आई थिंक जब हम ट्वेल्थ क्लास में होते हैं वी हैव एन ऑप्शन यू नो गो फॉर सीए सीएस एज अ कॉमर्स ग्रेजुएट और बीकॉम 
एंड आई वुड से अगर मुझे ट्वेल्थ क्लास में पता होता है सी सी ए के बारे में तो मैं जरूर करती सो इट्स एज गुड एज सी ए सो द स्कोप आई एम टॉकिंग द स्कोप द स्कोप ऑफ ए सी सी इज एज गुड एज द स्कोप ऑफ सी ए इन इंडिया एंड मे बी इट्स इवन बेटर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इन अ ग्लोबल प्रैक्टिस ऑल टूगेदर तो ए सी सी ए करके वट आर द जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल सो आई थिंक वीव हर्ड अबाउट वट बिग फोर इज EY, KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, and then Fortune 500 companies, and then other banks. So there are there are ample of opportunities within all these reputed corporates, uh, which starts from audit. Audit is of course the main thing that people enter into, but it doesn't end there. It moves on to your accounting. It moves on to your consulting, wherein you can work into finance field. It moves on to your taxation. So, our UK taxation has specialization. Okay, so you work with UK team in collaboration, and you work in the taxation field. You work in risk and advisory. How? Because the world is a global village, and uh, दुनिया छोटी होती जा रही है एंड देर आर आई एफ आर एस जो है आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज इवन इफ आई एम इन इंडिया आई माइट बी वर्किंग विद अ कंपनी हु हैज सब्सिडरी न्यू के लेट से तो उनका है कंट्रोल्स है सो दिस इज अबाउट कि वॉट आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट आर अवेलेबल दीज आर ब्रॉड रोल्स इन इन अ वेरी ले मैन लैंग्वेज दैट आई वुड से इसके नीच में जाएंगे दिस इज न्यू थिंग दैट केम अप फॉरेंसिक अकाउंटिंग एंड फॉरेंसिक ऑडिटिंग फॉर ए सी सी एस सो उसके बाद यू कैन डू सम एड ऑन कोर्सेज जस्ट जनरल सर्टिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन बी यू कैन बी अ leader in forensics so these are some of the things that i would say and it is very much prevalent um the scope of acca again i'm repeating is equivalent to what is a scope of ca in india however um, an acca of course cannot uh, sign the financials jo hum financial papers hote hain but apart from that it remains same in terms of salary in terms of growth and especially if i talk about the big four in the industry ye sirf main corporates uh, ki baat kar rahi hu jo service provide karte hai after a couple of years of experience you can move to industry also so in in their accounting field so that is one experience you can have like after experience that's one of the option that you can have to have a better work life balance so yes this is broadly the scope i would Achha, you know bahut acha laga and you know very motivating also in terms of you know the kind of things and kind of roles that are being available but ek cheez jo uh अगर मैं फ्रेशर रहूंगा तो हर्षिता मैं भी आपसे पूछने वाला हूं और हर वो बच्चा आपसे पूछेगा और शायद पूछता भी होगा कि अच्छा मैं आ, मैं मैं ये तो समझ गया कि इसकी वैल्यू जो है वो अच्छी है और यू नो स्कोप है और पर मैं ऐसे कैसे पाऊं इस स्कोप को कैसे अप्रोच करूं कहाँ जाऊं कैसे मिलेगी मुझे जॉब क्या करूँ मैं तो एक ऑप्शन होता है कि क्या पता आप लाइक ट्वेल्थ के बाद अगर स्टार्ट कर रहे हो एंड आप बी कॉम भी कर रहे हो साथ साथ इफ यू रियली वांट टू डू दैट सो देर दीज कंपनीज दे कम इन कैंपस दैट्स अ वेरी सेफ वे टू गेट इनटू दीज कंपनीज ये कैंपस में आते हैं खुद चल के आते हैं दे रिक्रूट यू दे लुक फॉर यू दे वॉन्ट टू हायर यू एंड यू गेट सेलेक्टेड एंड यू होप दैट्स हाउ आई डेट एंड दैट्स दैट्स समथिंग दैट आई रियली फाइंड वैल्यूएबल बट अगर आपको नहीं करना तो कोई ऐसा नहीं है यू कैन गेट टू दीज कंपनीज यू डेफिनेटली कैन हाउ सो यू गो टू द पोर्टल इन कंपनीज के पोर्टल्स पे देर आर एम्पल ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल यू कैन सी व्हाट फिट्स यू सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एन एसीसी स्टूडेंट दे कैन फाइंड अ जॉब एट एन एंट्री लेवल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एन एसीसी अफिलिएट दे कैन फाइंड एन आई फाइंड अ जॉब एट एक्सपीरियंस एसोसिएट लेवल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ मेंबर देयर इज नो लिमिट सो दीस आर यू कैन विजिट द पोर्टल यू कैन विजिट लिंक्डइन यू कैन नेटवर्क विद पीपल जो इन कंपनीज में काम करते हैं एंड आस्क देम टू रेफर यू रेफरल स्कीम इज वेरी कॉमन इन Um, all of these uh, companies so this is uh, i think this is not even difficult to so, us portal khol na dekh na and this one more thing acc ki khud ki ek website hai jahan pe wo jobs time and again post karte rehte hain so you can keep an eye on those so there are ample of places where you can find the job opportunities just you need to approach in a right way to a particular individual and network in a right way aur main sabko ye suggestion dungi कि प्लीज 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 लिंक्डइन पे आ जाओ प्लीज क्रिएट अ गुड अकाउंट बिकॉज़ दैट विल हेल्प यू बिल्ड अ ग्रेट नेटवर्क अ वेरी ट्रू एंड यू नो आई थिंक दिस शुड बी मस्ट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ बिकॉज़ हमें समझ में हम ऐसा सोचते हैं बताएं कि लिंक्डइन पे तो सिर्फ सीनियर सीनियर होते हैं और ऐसा और वैसा ऐसा कुछ नहीं है अब सबसे पहली बात है लिंक्डइन पे आओगे तभी तो किसी को रीच आउट करोगे अरे भाई कनेक्ट करने के लिए कनेक्शन वाली जगह तो आना पड़ेगा उससे अच्छी कोई कनेक्शन वाली जगह ही नहीं है and one thing that i can tell you with what all experiences i've had in my life my friend after working for so many years in various corporates 
नेटवर्किंग के बिना आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते हो आपको नेटवर्किंग तो चाहिए ही चाहिए आप किसी भी लेवल पे हो आप जिस लेवल पे हो वहां भी और आप आज से 20 साल जहां बाद जहां पहुंचोगे वहां भी नेटवर्किंग इज दी सुपर 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 इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट कैन रियली रियली शिफ्ट द गियर्स एंड कैन टेक यू एनी एंड आई कैन कंप्लीटली कंप्लीटली को रिलेट हर्षिता टू टू वॉट यू मैं अगर आप वहां हो तो आपको पता चलेगा कि कौन कहाँ है और किससे मैं कैसे कनेक्ट हो सकता हूँ और कनेक्ट होने के बाद मैं क्या बात कर सकता हूँ एंड वॉट नॉट बट उसके लिए बच्चे सबसे पहले लिंक पे आना तो पड़ेगा दैट इज दी सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एक चीज मैं और बोलूंगा यहाँ पे यू नो टू जस्ट टू शेयर विद यू दाइंड ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट आर अवेलेबल यू नो फ्रेंड एंड ग्लोबल दी अप्रूव लर्निंग पार्टनर्स फॉर एसी सी ऑल्सो हैव देयर ओन स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक टेलीग्राम ग्रुप वेर एन we guys keep posting various specific openings that are available for accas across the globe including india so aap usko bhi join kar sakte hain us pe bhi aa sakte hain taki wo job opportunities bhi aapke paas sabse pehle mile main us portal ka link aapko is video ki detail mein de dunga so that you know it stays with you it it is with you and you can of course join it and take the benefit out ab hum chalenge harshita ek aur question ke upar jo mujhe lagta hai कहीं ना कहीं ना हर स्टूडेंट के या पेरेंट के मन में आता है और यू नो यू बीइंग बी पार्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री इन दैट फील्ड डू यू थिंक कि एसीसीएस की सैलरी इन कंपैरिजन टू अदर प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज कम होती है बिकॉज उन्हें ऐसा लगता है कि यू नो इसकी वैल्यू इसकी इसके पता नहीं इतने पैसे मिलेंगे नहीं मिलेंगे जितने मैं कुछ और अगर करता तो मिलते हैं एक और दूसरा दे कीप से पता नहीं इंडिया में वैल्यू है या नहीं 180 कंट्रीज में होगी सर अग्रीड बाहर तो सर एसीसी यूके का है यूरोप में होगी सर इंडिया में है या नहीं पहले आप ये बताओ एंड अगेन थर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव एंड यू नो आई एम ओपनिंग फॉर द ग्रुप टू आंसर इज कि इसकी इंटरनेशनल वैल्यू क्या सही में है और है तो क्या पता है उसके बारे में देखा मैंने तीनों क्वेश्चन पूछ डाले जो मुझे लगा इंपॉर्टेंट होंगे फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट बट आई एम कीपिंग द ग्रुप And if anybody has any comment, feel free to uh, uh, you know answer. But over to Harshita. Okay, so myth. Let's uh, bust this myth now. That CA or any other qualification value is very much more as compared to ACCA in terms of salary, in terms of job opportunities, in terms of growth within your company. I have been working here for five years, and trust me. मैंने एक एग्जांपल जरूर देखा था जहां एक एसीसी होना चाहिए था और सीए नहीं चाहिए था व्हेन दे वांटेड टू सेंड समवन टू कनाडा फॉर अ रोटेशन बट ऐसा कभी नहीं हुआ दैट दे वांटेड अ सीए ओवर एन एसीसीए और दे हैड एनी प्रेफरेंसेस आई थिंक इट्स वेरी मच सिमिलर ऑफ कोर्स सीए इज अ ग्रेट कोर्स इफ यू गोइंग फॉर इट गुड लक विद दैट बट इफ यू आर गोइंग बट मेरे को बहुत हर्ट करी है ये बात मैं तुम्हें बता दूंगा क्योंकि <laughs> मैं तो सीए ही था और मैं यूएस गया था मैं कनाडा भी गया था काम करने मुझे बहुत हर्ट करी है ये बात फिर Nee, nee. Again, it's same. I'm telling you, it's same. A CA can also move out, but that doesn't mean that an ACCA cannot. Uh, there was a particular requirement, IFRS E, and CAs have to do a top up course for uh, that IFRS knowledge. Just go, who ACCA is affiliated with, usually diploma and IFRS. So, but ACCA doesn't have to do that. It comes in the package. So, trying to compare the knowledge and everything, I think it remains at par. The job opportunities remain at par. The salary. अगेन uh, ऐसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है कि मेरा पीयर सीए है और वो प्रमोट हो जाएंगे और मैं नहीं होंगी जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम एसी सी ए या मेरी सैलरी उनसे थोड़ी कम होगी नो इफ आई एम क्वालिफाइड आई अर्न मोर देन माई पीयर्स आई अर्न एट पार्ट इन एट द इंडस्ट्री लेवल दिस इज नो सच थिंग कॉल्ड इन फैक्ट नॉट जस्ट सी ए एनी अदर क्वालिफिकेशन यू टॉक अबाउट ऐसा कुछ नहीं है ऑल द प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन आर इक्वल इन इन ऑल दीज कॉर्पोरेट दर आर जस्ट टॉक्ट अबाउट दिस नो such thing called that coming to the next question that is about the scope of acc in india i think i've already spoken about fortune 500 mein 500 companies aa gayi hain big four mein char aa gayi hain and uh, there are more like this big seven also bdo gt mazars mazars is hiring a lot these days by the way and um, so these are um, the uh, service lines that are coming up so they are also opening up scope so if you really want to get into corporates i think acca can be a really good and a convenient option uh, i would say the course material to dekho same rehta hai 
एसीसीए का भी सीए का भी कहीं और का भी पढ़ाई तो सेम ही है अकाउंट्स ही पढ़नी है बट इट्स मोर कन्वीनियंट इन अ वे कि तुम्हें कब एग्जाम देना है कब तुम प्रिपेयर हो कब तुम्हें कोई और एग्जाम देना है यू कैन ऑलवेज मिक्स एंड मॉच थिंग्स एंड डू इट ऑन योर वे बट ये आई आई थिंक इंडस्ट्री में भी ऑप्शन है एज आई सेट एंड लाइक दिशा नॉट चोजन टीचिंग एज एन ऑप्शन दैट्स अ वेरी नाइस ऑप्शन आई थिंक दैट्स एन ऑल टाइम अवेलेबल ऑप्शन टू ए सी सी एस यू कैन ऑब्वियसली हैव सम एक्सपीरियंस इन दैट एंड अगर आप पढ़ाते हो तो आपकी टेक्निकल नॉलेज एनी डे स्ट्रॉग होती है सो यू कैन आपने दिशा का नाम ले लिया बिलिया विष्णु का नाम ले लिया तो विष्णु ने वीडियो ऑफ कर दिया विष्णु का नाम मेरे मैं नाराज हूं विष्णु द विष्णु इज एन इंस्पिरेशन टू ऑल द पीपल वाचिंग हियर बिकॉज़ आई थिंक ही स्टार्टेड एट 12 व्हेन ही वाज 12 इन 12th मे बी एंड आई थिंक मुझे मैंने स्टार्ट ही ऐसे किया मुझे पता होता ना उस टाइम पे तो मैं पक्का करती बट एनीवे टॉकिंग अबाउट इस बात पे ना मैं भी कहूंगा विष्णु से मिलने के बाद ना दो दिन तो मैं भी बड़ा डिप्रेस था मैंने अपनी वाइफ से भी बात नहीं करी दो दिन यू नो जस्ट बिकॉज की यू नो कि मैंने इतनी जल्दी नहीं करी इतनी जल्दी जल्दी करके इतनी जल्दी जल्दी कंपनियों में आ जाते हैं और फिर हम यू नो अब अब आप 21 साल में अगर आप बिग फोर को ज्वाइन कर लोगे तो आपके पास इतना सारा करियर का टाइम है कितना सारा ग्रो करने के लिए एंड यू नो सो इट रियली इट इज ऑन द वन हैंड इट इज वेरी मोटिवेटिंग एंड डीमोटिवेटिंग टू फॉर आस लेट मी टेल यू दैट No, I think it's very motivating because uh, 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 <laughs> like, the moment you start, start early. So I have both opportunities, and uh, like you said, uh, moving outside India. So I know that an ACC member can easily move outside India. ACC affiliate needs an experience to become an ACC member to be able to move. So if Vishnu started at eighteen and maybe completed by twenty, and then he would have experience, and then he can definitely move out at twenty-two. And I'm jealous again. So <laughs> that's a great. thing uh talking about international opportunities so kaun si country se shuru karte let's talk about middle east uh abu dhabi dubai they hire they only have ifrs standards and they only hire accca accca unki ca and uh, they are very much privileged to have people uh, who are accs then uh, already spoken by you uk mein to hai hi there are a lot of opportunities in the entire uk and now that europe uh, mein language barrier hota tha but that's opening up now and i think there are uh, many countries like switzerland luxembourg in europe where in they have opportunities for people who are pursuing accs Uh, this is in broader terms. You can go to Ireland. Uh, there are various countries. आप बस choose करो कि आपको कहाँ जाना है. So I think uh, you just pick up a map, click where you want to go, and <laughs> you have a two-way ticket. There are opportunities in India as well and outside as well. Very true. And I can tell you there are many students, many students, you know, where and we have observed that they have really made. Uh, I would say. not in terms of money but they have really made a good career out of this in terms of you know what they have done and where they have really moved on i have a student you know who was from uh, ludhiana punjab and you know he did this and then now he is in canada and you know we of course we interviewed him for a for a session and it was it was really awesome to know in terms of you know what he did the way he did so it is it is all the more uh, right to say that you know the kind of globalization the way it is happening with this kind of a qualification you know you are op- really opening up your doors to go anywhere and work anywhere and you know sky is the limit in terms of really growing but that reminds me i'm also from ludhiana punjab and i'm also here so one of your again students <laughs> <laughs> you know thanks for mentioning that but you know of course i was talking about some somebody else right now i would i would certainly talk about you also you know when something something like this happens harshita for sure i will really uh, interview you again on that and i wish you know some some day it will happen i'm sure you know and we will into you again abhi ek aur important sawal pe aate hain and fir main you know mere paas kuch sawal bachchon ke aaye hain jo you know which which is like i will i will ask but kuch sawal jo ek sawal jo mujhe uh, uh, vishnu aap se puchna hai and you know it is more to to kill my curiosity and you know many others uh, uh, i would just students curiosity is that uh, you started off say in 12th or after 12th and so on and so forth you qualified uh, uh, at the age of 20 21 and then you know you started of finding out you know the job how difficult it was to find a job you know 2021 you know a a kid kid face going in the market finding a job in a big four uh, hectic jobs hectic and and very 
सॉरी टू से दैट बट वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट मैनेजर्स एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ हाउ इजी इट वॉज फॉर यू टू गेट अ जॉब एंड हाउ इजी इट 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 इज फॉर यू टू रियली मैनेज यूर जॉब राइट नाउ यू नो इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो वॉट यू डेट इन द वे यू डेट एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम वेल after like i qualified that was after becoming an affiliate that was the time that i started searching for the job and uh during that period and this was like just the beginning of the you know the global pandemic uh yeah that's the time when i started to search for the job however this particular topic that is uh, searching for a job that's always been a difficult thing to do because uh getting a job is like you know you have to have the sufficient level of networks you have to have uh, you know an eye on all the career portals be it ecc careers be it uh, maybe naukri.com or any uh, of the big four websites you have to keep an eye on it on a daily basis and searching can take a time if you let's say uh, are opting for it after becoming qualified let's say after an ecc affiliate then there could be maybe a uh, 15 to 1 month time gap in order to get a new job because the opportunity arises when there's a big business requirement in some companies right so searching is a bit uh, difficult job so what i would suggest is uh enter a jo- enter into a job after completing let's say 9 or uh, maybe 11 or 12 papers because by that time you can continue your studies and gain experience so you're saving time now that's one of the i know that my journey could be a bit demotivating to some of you but uh, let me tell you that even i have made mistakes that's a particular mistake that even i have made had i you know joined a particular job uh, uh after completing let's say 11 or 12 papers then i would have saved a, saved a bit more time right so How much that's another time? how much time you want to save it you, you you want us to be more demotivated is that what you really want <laughs> having said that i think it's mm-hmm. a very 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 important point which i really want to mm-hmm. highlight over here is that is that while you're doing acca mm-hmm. there are corporates there are big fours there are organizations which are valuing you mm-hmm. clearing the nine papers and they offer you job basis those nine papers exactly awesome to have not many of the professional courses are recognized that way wherein if you have cleared halfway they will offer you that kind of a job that really happens in acca i have i interviewed one guy few days back he cleared i think six papers in acca and he got a job he got a job in a big four let me tell you that and interview is yet to be released but you know that's how it is you know in terms of you know the, the value and the and the preposition that this really brings on table it's awesome and thanks for highlighting that vishnu it was it was really important one question that i have you know and this is for you disha uh, again i know i know i'm i'm going above time but you know out of curiosity i can't stop myself really you know restricting restricting it over here uh, one last question that i have for you disha is that how do you felt you worked in two big four not even one you know so two big four how easy what for you and was it for you to get a job as a as an acca and you know how was your journey and what you did and you know how what what made you change and how easy for you you know it was to change and so on and so forth so can you throw some light quickly on that that will be really so the first job that i got uh, in kpmg that so i got from campus placement but uh, and then i started with my acca journey because when i started the job i realized that you know if i want to grow in this profession i need to have a professional qualification and all my peers and seniors are at kpmg were doing acca so i also started with that then when i was moving switching on my job like i took a little break i wanted to finish all my papers uh, i was like i'll just see one or two papers and i want to uh, then start another job so i had only one paper left and i started applying uh for another job and at that time i got uh, a job in ernst and young and a completely different department so from audit i moved to financial accounting because i was interested in that i wanted to try another field so even though it was a complete different field and you know as such my work experience would not be counted because i had experience of audit but i easily got because you know i was doing acc and only one paper was left and i got the job and in december i gave my final paper and then i became an affiliate and then soon after became a member so i think it's fairly simple um big force may milna to honestly sir it is very simple because they are hiring accas 
a lot uh, whether it's the audit department tax department so i don't think one has to worry and not just because like harshita mentioned you know ab hamare grand thornton ho gaya bdo ho gaya all these companies are uh, hiring accas and investment banks you know i i have so many of my friends who are working in investment banks and they keep on switching they go to industry they come back to big four so it's very easy to switch also uh, and not just your job or company but also your department like aap seedha audit se aap financial accounting mein ja sakte ho ab aapko agar interest hai uh, forensic auditing mein because that is also very popular these days so you can easily switch over it's pretty simple because ek bar aap aise professional qualification mein ho aap aise course karte ho so it becomes very easy because iski bahut high value hai oh it's it's very motivating and this time i'm i'm really telling you it was motivating because you know you <coughs> you being in one field and getting job in another field is just not easy and you doing acca along with a job in big four is anyway not easy so you know i i have been talking to harshita also on this she did the same and you did the same i think that's that's really commendable in terms of you know doing such a kind of a professional course along with your job is is really not not easy but you know you guys managing it is is kudos i would say in terms of you know you getting that you getting there now coming on to you know the i i i think i'm i'm done with my list of questions i i was scanning through the list of questions that i got you know one question that i got was that what is the fees of acca you know we'll get into the details of fees you know there is a separate video that is being released by fintram on the fees of acca you know i can you know i can give you the detail of that video in this say in this video what we'll be publishing for this webinar you can go through that you can reach out to us my friend we will be more than happy to help you in terms of you know what the fee structure is and giving you all the details one thing that i really want to tell you over here is that fintram has a specific specific student discussion group wherein you can join for free and you can raise out any query that you may have any query and like i have the house full of mentors over here we have a house full of mentors over there too who can really help you in terms of you know really guiding you as to what the right course of action is they can really reply back to your queries in terms of you know what you really have in your mind as far as this qualification is concerned we really want to you know you know sow the seed in you in terms of you know thinking through as to what exactly you can do for, you know with this qualification and any doubts any confusion that you may have who are we are more than happy to handle and we are more than more than happy to you know answer that you know we are also available on social media social groups linkedin everywhere you can reach out to harshita disha vishnu all of us are there you know and all of us are wholeheartedly you know welcoming any kind of uh, again and guys i'm saying on your behalf if i you know if, if you allow me that uh, you know we are wholeheartedly there to really help and support as much as possible one question that i think i uh, i missed on was that and this was for you uh, vishnu wherein a student asked that can you get a bsc from oxford from india or we have to move there i don't think you have to move there right no, vishnu you can move there anywhere <laughs> No, no. It's an online course, so you can just submit your project online. So it's totally fine. All right. So Heather, this mm -hmm. this uh, this answers what 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 your question was. All right. Then I have one more question coming from. Can I pursue ACCA with foundation? When I when you say foundation, Shraddha, I believe you're saying CA foundation. CA foundation. Okay. I you know I can answer that. I think you can absolutely absolutely pursue that. There is no problem with that. You can just go ahead and do it. There are many folks who do it uh, with CA also. CA IPCC, CA final, after CA final, they can you can certainly do that. That's not an issue. Ridhima says link please link Ridhima. Let this webinar ends and you know we'll certainly provide you the link. Uh, it'll go. It'll come under this video. You can certainly certainly look onto that. i think that was uh, it you know i had in terms of the questions that the folks asked you know one thing that i really want to uh, share with all the students as a good news is that despite you know of course what we have heard and what we have learned over here if there is anything more that you may have please reach out to us you are free to reach out to us anywhere including the you know the social media platforms and of course our website and of course there is a uh there is a specific whatsapp number and of course the call that you can make out to us will be more than happy to really handle that and answer that another piece that i really want to uh, touch upon especially for the class 12 student is that fintram global the approved learning partners for acca is offering specific specific scholarship to the class 12 students who have just cleared or you know who are in 12th right now so you can avail those scholarships of course you can reach out to us for more details 
there are, you know, the scholarship is on first come first serve basis. So, you know, earlier you come, you know, better it is in terms of, you know, you getting that because that's really makes this, this, this course really, really affordable. And of course, you know, really, you know, making you get this going because that is something you can, you may, you may really need to aspire for. So you can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you on that too. As I said, <clears throat> we being the, the uh, ACC learning platform, we can help you in registration. We can help you in coaching. We can help you in mentoring. And, and 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 so on and so forth there are there are various things that you can really get out of the plate in terms of you know you really if you really uh, are thinking about getting into this uh i think that's it uh, you know i have any any last words that you know anyone may want to add any tip that you may want to give harshita vishnu disha before we really wrap up uh, yes i have just one tip that start early uh, because uh, you are in the golden age, um, and if you if you and you're very lucky to know about ACCA, I'm not just saying ACCA. Like uh, start early uh, planning your career, and if you think of choosing ACCA, do not delay because Vishnu is a perfect example of how you can save a lot of time by pursuing it early. So we we really need more people to be jealous of, and uh, we'll be more than happy to have you on the board. Vishnu, any last words, my friend? <clears throat> yeah, just like uh, Hashida said, you have to be you know, more efficient, plan everything properly, plan your career properly so that you can execute it and save time to you know, uh, have a bright future. That's basically it. Yep. Anything, Disha, from you? Uh, just that hard work and sincerity is, like I would say, the key thing. And... Uh, Nothing is impossible if you are putting in your 100% and giving in like all your hard work. And this is not that this is super difficult or anything. If you're willing to put in that effort, you can definitely <laughs> achieve whatever you want in life. Yes. You know what I, I when I was, uh, when you were mentioning this, uh, Disha, I got a question from somebody and the person says that, sir, can, uh, can a class 12 science student do ACCA? How easy that would be? You know, we have a faculty also who is a science uh, science background faculty and uh, she did ACC and she completed very much on time. So guys, there is no limit to it. Science, maths, honors doesn't really matter. You really need to work hard. You really need to have the consistency. You really need to have the direction. Uh, it doesn't really matter which field you are from. What is important is that what you're taking, you're devoting 100% to it and really, you know, ensuring that you're able to clear it. That is it. With that, I would say, you know, that was it. And I would really like to thank all of our panelists, you know, and, and participants for joining the session. And, you know, especially to the panelists for taking out time and, and being here. And of course, you know, uh, you know, uh, having so many questions and spending time with us in terms of, you know, answering them. It was a pleasure, my friends, to have you here. But all I can tell you is that this is just the end of this webinar. There are many more to come, many more to disseminate the knowledge that we have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.